Thrive Architect versus Elementor. For the most people, I'm going to go with Elementor on this one. And for a select few very focused marketers who want to build landing pages, opt-in pages very quickly and easily that are already sort of built for you, then I would go with Thrive. So this is my opinion in 2023. I started out my page builder career with Thrive Architect. So that was my introduction to builders for WordPress and I was completely blown away. I'm a marketer, so I used a lot of the features. Thrive Leads is really cool. But recently in the last couple of years, I'm going to tell you why I have moved over to Elementor and I still think Thrive is great and I think it's the right fit for some people and I'll kind of tell you who I think that is. But for myself, I am moving over to Elementor. So the biggest difference between the two is that Elementor just hit this meteoric rise. I think when they both came out, they might have been pretty similar in numbers. I don't know that for sure, but that's just kind of the vibe that I got. And Thrive built itself as, you know, made for marketers. So it always appealed to me. However, as I started using it more, I started to notice that some of the features didn't really apply to me. It was it was again made for bloggers and like I know people their their landing page builder is really amazing and they have a lot of marketing focused landing pages. And so if you are a pure marketer blogger and you're not super into design as a concept for your, your websites, then actually I still think you should go with Thrive Architect. Like if you just, if you want landing pages and you want to host them yourself, then you could definitely use Thrive Themes and Thrive Architect. Thrive Leads is really awesome. It creates lots of interesting pop-ups, you know, and again, they're marketers, so they're very focused on marketing, which is great. But why did I, as a marketer for the last 15 years, switch over to Elementor recently. Well, I think it's because my design skills went up a little bit. Like when I first saw Elementor, I was always annoyed because they have all the features that I know I need. I know I could build funnels with them. I know I could build landing pages with them, but they don't really exclusively speak to marketers. And this is what I was talking about with the meteoric rise is they now have over 5 million users. So, so many different people are using Elementor. And that's one of its biggest advantages is that there's so many people using Elementor and so many designers and developers working on it. It's kind of like, even though it's a private company, it's almost got the benefits of being open source because so many people are using it and you can add, you know, your own plugins and add-ons and everything that you can customize Elementor to get it to do just about anything. And it it's one of the first integrations that, you know, plugin builders make. So that's the huge advantage of Elementor. And it's it's kind of made for designers generally. A lot of people use it, but it's kind of, you can tell it's built for designers. Like all of these landing pages they're showing, they're more like, you know, for a small business, not necessarily purely marketing. However, if you know what you're doing and you learn how to use Elementor a little bit, then you get to harness the power of that sort of almost open source environment of all these different plugins that people have built. and you know, a lot of people who are really good marketers have now built marketing plugins for Elementor. Whereas if we go back to Thrive, then Thrive is still kind of a small presence and they have their own suite of products, but they don't have as much, there aren't as many people using it. So there aren't as many people building like custom plugins and stuff. So you kind of just have to trust them. And unfortunately for me, one thing that they did a couple of years ago that kind of lost me was that they started focusing on this this idea of like building your own themes, which Elementor does. And now that I've gotten into that world and I got so kind of super nerdy about WordPress and design and stuff, then I can see the advantage of it, you know, to build your custom theme. But when Thrive started working on it, I was like, I don't care about this. And I don't know if marketers really do. I don't think marketers want to build their own theme and they really pivoted heavy into this idea that you want to like custom build your own theme. And I just didn't love that. And that's where they started to kind of lose me because they put a lot of their efforts into it. And so some of their offerings got kind of murky to me. So that's, that's where I started to switch over to Elementor and ultimately Having used both, I would say if you are a marketer and you just want landing pages, you want really nice looking marketing focused, you know, blog posts and stuff, 
you know that you're going to be like heavily, you know, conversion focused, I guess, then, and you don't want to do a lot of custom design work, then I would go with Thrive Architect. It's still going to do the job and it's a very nice page builder. And again, it has a lot of like landing page templates and stuff that are that are in sales page templates that are great. However, if you're a little more fluent in design and you know sort of how to make WordPress do what you need it to do, then Elementor has just got so much more customization, so many more plugins, so many more people are using it. There's so many more tutorials out there and you're not sort of boxed into the Thrive community. You know, you can you can take advantage of the fact that there are 5 million users and people are coming up with things all the time for Elementor. So that's my breakdown of Thrive versus Elementor. And I think that, again, if you are a marketer, you can start with Thrive. But if you know you're going to get into more custom kind of advanced stuff down the road, then I would just start right out learning Elementor. It's never going to hurt you to learn more about Elementor. It's so popular and so many people use it. If you work with clients, they're probably going to be using Elementor for their website. So for the most people, I'm going to go with Elementor on this one. And for a select few very focused marketers who want to build landing pages, opt-in pages very quickly and easily that are already sort of built for you, then I would go with Thrive.